Hi viewers, I want to take you through the coding of the exam generator system in Excel. Um, I had uh, demonstrated on how it works that if I click, if I click generate exam, you can see a different exam appearing here. And then uh, I had shown you that uh, you can have a print preview where you see how the exam will appear and then uh, I had shown you that if you click print if you are connect, your computer is connected to the, uh, the printer and then it co uh, directly prints without a lot of work now um, in the coming up with a simple system like this one there is little coding that is required that is if you if I go to, of course, you must have the develop option here, which I had uh, explained earlier how to have it. That is, if you go to file, then you go to options. You go to file, then options. Um, oh, I'm, I'm in developer already. I'm supposed to be at home. So that I go to file, options. Yeah, file options. Okay, it's supposed to appear. It's supposed to work. Yes, file options. Then you go to custom ribbon. Then you make sure this developer is ticked. If it's ticked, then you're good to go. Then uh, now I can. Um, if I go now here, I want to show you the coding. So you go to developer. You go to insert. Then you pick a, a command pattern here. This command pattern. You drag it and place it there. Then you go to properties, properties here. You change like the, the caption, you write the way you want. The caption like I've written here, generate exam paper. Then um, from there, from there you can give the background color, you can change. I have done demonstration in other videos on how to make these patterns here. So uh, let me go straight to the coding. So make sure uh, if I want to open this one, I make sure it is in design mode. If it's in de design mode, then I double click it, it will open the coding. So I'm going to explain this coding. Uh, like uh, that is, this is the coding now for that pattern of generating exam. You put the, if you copy all this, uh, you copy all this coding and place it in um, a command pattern that I've, you've created, it will do exact job. As long as um, my exam, one of my questions are in uh, column A, and that is why I've written the range is column A to A. Then it has to create the content, and then um, uh, that is for I equals to 1 to 15, meaning I want to, to be setting 15 questions. If you want to be setting randomly 30 questions or 24 questions, I should be I1 to 24 then generate then we have row that is the row num I, I could have deemed here deem that is declared the variables row num I could have declared it as a, as an integer for instance so if row number is uh, application dot round up random so I'm, I'm picking random out of the 20 question if you have 1000 questions then it should be times 1000 question zero zero is to make it an integer then if application dot count if I'm counting the cells in sheet two, this is sheet two is where I'm writing the code, but the questions are in sheet one. Uh, then uh, uh, you 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 comma the sheets also in sheet one. You are comparing the two equals to an integer which is zero. Then then sheet two, the range that you have and the row uh, row counts it should be counting the rows, and uh, then you end it and the offsets. Uh, dot value equals to now they should be equal so it should be copying those questions that are picked randomly it shall be copying it to sheet from sheet one to bring it to sheet two to sheet two else it has to generate the exam then you end if from there this is just formatting code so it's a very simple code that will be generating the exam randomly then uh, this is just formatting codes like uh, you end if of course because this is an if here then i have to end an if so um because i have used um uh, 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 for loop this is a for loop so i must 
continue with the next eye. I have to close the follow by going to the next eye. Then from there, you have uh, some formatting, like I need it to be selecting sheet two, where I am now, the current sheet uh, where the, the exam will be placed. Then I want now range A1, where I want the name of the school to appear. You can write your, the name of the school that you want. I have gone up to here, where I have the quotation here. The quotation, this space is to make sure that I want it to be as large as that, so that uh, it can be fit in the A4. You can go uh, to where you want it to fit. Then range A1, the font I want it to be bold, which is true. Then uh, font color, uh, uh, you can uh, have a font color here and let's say VB, like if I write VB, blue. I can write like uh, VB, VB uh, red. I want the color of that um, of A1. That is of the the, the Indonesian boys to be red. Utandika VB red. You write as VB red. Then uh, the red, the column one. That column one, the exam you want it to fit to out of it. Out of it meaning that it will fit this name Indonesia up to here. So meaning that uh, it will be enough now for me. A, a full exam then from there you this one to select B to select B B1 that is where after it has done generated I want the cursor to move to B1 so that it does not disturb so that is what I've done the very simple work then uh, you end up and then from there this is enough for the command of printing of uh, print preview this printing and the print preview here just uh, another, you create, you click another one, you double click like I did, and then from there you write just this active sheet dot print out. Then um, if you want this to preview, it is active sheet dot print preview. Very simple as that, and then uh, it works, marvelous work. Thank you for listening, and be sure to subscribe.